Welcome to the community event for the State Road 434 or Central Avenue Corridor Study. My name is Erica Schellenberger and I'm the project manager with the Florida Department of Transportation. We thank you for joining us today. During the event, we will present information on the department's plans to improve safety and enhance operations through this project. This community event is being held to give you the opportunity to provide feedback on this project. We encourage your feedback and during the presentation, we will provide multiple ways you can submit your questions and comments to us about the project. All questions will be responded to in writing and will become part of the public meeting record. We will now begin the presentation. The event information is being provided in multiple ways to allow the community to receive information about the project and provide input. This event is being conducted in person and virtually through GoToWebinar. All event materials, including presentation, are available on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 9622004. This community event was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, mail station 501 Delan, Florida, 32720-6834 by phone at 386-943-5077 or email melissa.mckinney at dot.state.fl.us. That's M-E-L-I-S-S-A dot M-C-K-I-N-N-E-Y at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4742, or by email at stefan.kulikowski at dot dot state dot fl dot us that's s t e f a n dot k u l a k o w s k i at dot dot s t a t e dot f l dot us this information is also shown on a sign at the in-person location and on the project website the community event was advertised in the Florida Administrative Register, on the department's public notices website, the project website, and in the local newspaper. In addition, stakeholders were also notified about this community event via hand-delivered or emailed flyers and on the department's social media outlets. The purpose of tonight's community event is to explain the project goals, present the improvements that the department is evaluating to help achieve those goals, and obtain the community's feedback about the proposed improvements. The project limits for this corridor study along State Road 434, also known as Central Avenue, are from Mitchell Hammock Road to State Road 426, which is also known as Broadway Avenue and County Road 419, a distance of approximately 1.02 miles. The study limits are within the city of Oviedo. The corridor study is a partnership with our community stakeholders. With this in mind, a project visioning team was formed and includes key agency partners, such as several departments from the City of Oviedo, Seminole County, and the Metro Plan Orlando Metropolitan Planning Organization. There are also numerous community partners along the corridor that are involved with the project and are providing important community input. We also want to hear from you, the public. Whether you live, work, learn, or visit this area, your input is important to the successful outcome of this study. The study is considering safety, speed management, network connectivity, and operations for all roadway users along the corridor. 
Data was collected to determine the needs of the corridor and analyze the potential alternatives. The improvements will be considered in the context of surrounding land use, future growth, and potential impacts to the study area. State Route 434 has a posted speed limit of 35 miles per hour from Mitchell Hammock Road to north of Clark Street and 30 miles per hour from north of Clark Street to State Road 426, also known as Broadway Street. On the left is an illustration of the existing typical section from Clont Street to north of Lindsay Lane with a single travel lane in both directions, a center left turn lane, on-street bike lanes, and sidewalk on both sides separated by a curb and gutter and small landscape buffer. On the right is an illustration of the existing typical section from north of Lindsay Lane to Smith Street with a single travel lane in both directions, on-street bike lanes with a flush shoulder, and sidewalk on both sides, separated by a small landscape buffer in some locations. The existing features discussed above utilize the entire existing right-of-way, which is the property owned by the department to accommodate transportation improvements. Previous studies of the corridor, recent field reviews, field collected data and analysis were used to understand how the corridor is currently operating. Currently, the corridor has limited exclusive left turn lanes, such as at the Clark Street intersection. There is enough right of way to accommodate the existing corridor, but nothing more. There are sections of the corridor that do not have curb and gutter. There is a five to six foot sidewalk on both sides of the roadway with narrow on street bike lanes. There is one mid block pedestrian crossing along this 1.02 mile segment at the Cross Seminole Trail, which has rapid rectangular flashing beacons. This understanding will help define solution based improvements that address the future needs of the corridor and effectively balance the land use and transportation planning. The proposed improvements have been developed to specifically address the concerns along the existing two lane segment of State Road 434 from Clon Street to Smith Street. These improvements are incorporated into two alternatives that are intended to address the project goals and enhance the corridor for all modes of travel. The two-lane divided typical section alternative would reconstruct the existing two-lane undivided corridor with a landscape median, which would include median openings with exclusive left turn lanes at certain locations, curb and gutter with new drainage structures, a landscape buffer next to the sidewalks on both sides, and a widened 14-foot shared use path along the east side of the roadway. The two-lane divided typical section requires additional right-of-way due to the introduction of a median and shared use path. The four-lane divided typical section alternative includes an additional travel lane in both the northbound and southbound directions. Similar to the two-lane alternative, the four-lane alternative includes a landscape median with median openings and exclusive left turn lanes at certain locations, a curb and gutter with new drainage structures, and a landscape buffer next to sidewalks on both sides. The four-lane typical section includes a 12-foot shared use path along the east side of the roadway. Both alternatives improve safety and network connectivity for all users and provide a more comfortable environment for bicyclists and pedestrians using the shared use path and wider sidewalk. These renderings present a view facing south on State Road 434. This location is just south of the intersection with Boardwalk Avenue. The two-lane divided alternative is on the top and the four-lane divided alternative is on the bottom. Both alternatives include a shared use path along the east side of the roadway and include the addition of a center median separating the travel lanes. An exclusive left turn lane would be provided within the median for vehicles turning into Boston Hill Park. These renderings depict proposed improvements from a view facing south along State Road 434. This location is located south of the intersection with Clark Street. Similar to the previous rendering, there is a shared use path along the east side of the roadway with the addition of a center median separating the travel lanes for both the two-lane divided alternative on the top and the four-lane divided alternative on the bottom. This section does not include any driveways or intersections, therefore the raised median would include grass or other landscaping features. This is a rendering of the proposed pedestrian hybrid beacon, or PHB, at the Cross Seminole Trail from a view facing south along State Road 434. The existing marked crosswalk and rectangular rapid flashing beacon for this crossing would be replaced with a PHB to continue allowing a safe crossing for pedestrians and cyclists at this critical location. While the PHB shown is for the two-lane alternative, this improvement is also recommended for the four-lane divided alternative. 
This table compares the existing corridor conditions and the proposed alternatives. Under existing conditions, left turning vehicles must wait for a gap in opposing traffic, either on the travel way or on the two way left turn lanes. The proposed alternatives provide exclusive left turn lanes within a landscape median. As part of this community event, the project team wants to get your input and objectively assess the needs and opportunities to determine the potential locations where exclusive left turn lanes are needed based on the available data, spacing, and your experience traveling along the corridor. This information will assist the project team in understanding the connectivity for all modes throughout the study area. The majority of the existing corridor has no curb and gutter or drainage facilities. The proposed alternatives will improve the drainage with the inclusion of curb and gutter throughout the corridor. The existing trail crossing is controlled by rectangular rapid flashing beacons. Under the proposed alternatives, the trail crossing would be controlled by a pedestrian hybrid beacon. The corridor currently has narrow on-street bike lanes and sidewalks on both sides of the roadway. The proposed alternatives would remove the bikes from the road by constructing a shared use path along the east side of the roadway that would provide mobility for both pedestrians and bicyclists. Right-of-way availability is limited and the existing features utilize the entire existing right-of-way. Both proposed alternatives require additional right-of-way varying from a maximum of 24 feet for the two-lane divided alternative to a maximum of 37 feet for the four-lane divided alternative. The alternatives presented today are based on data collection, preliminary analysis, and coordination with local agencies. We encourage your feedback on the alternatives presented today. The input and feedback provided at this evening's community event and throughout the study process will be used to develop and select the recommended alternative. The corridor study is anticipated to be completed in fall 2024. At this time, funding for any future phases of the corridor study is yet to be identified. We encourage your input and feedback about this project, and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the community event record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by May 25, 2024, 10 days after the community event, will become part of the project's public record. All questions will be responded to in writing following the event. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the project record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. You may also contact FDOT project manager Erica Schellenberger directly by email at erica.schellenberger at dot dot fl dot us that's e r i k a dot s h e l l e n b e r g e r at d o t dot s t a t e dot f l dot us or by us mail at the florida department of transportation 719 south woodland boulevard Mail Station 501, Deland, Florida 32720-6834. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5378 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. To learn more about the project, go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 9622004 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Community event materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this community event and providing your input on this project. If you have any comments or questions after the event, please submit them by May 25, 2024. Have a good evening. This concludes the presentation. We invite you to view the event materials and exhibits and talk to the project team.